is the little typer the functional programming with types book I've been waiting for? Hi, my name is Eric Normand, and these are my thoughts on functional programming. So there's a new little book coming out by Dan Friedman. The little books are books like Little Schemer, The uh, Season Schemer, The Reason Schemer, uh, oh, one more, The Little Prover. These are all little books, and it's a style of book that Dan Friedman writes, and he always has different co-authors, and they're just teaching functional programming stuff in this very cool style. Um, I, I have a book. I'm not going to bring it out. I have two of them. Um, but it's like kind of question and answer, and you can cover up the answer. And you ask yourself the question, and then try to answer it, and then you see the answer, and then you get another question, and then you try to answer it. And one little bit at a time, you're developing the, the pathways the thought pathways in your brain, in your mind, about how to reason about this code. So in the little schema, it's just scheme, very basic operations on lists and things like that. And then the other one I have is um, the little prover, which is all about proofs, and uh, it's very cool. Um, So this new book is coming out. Uh, it looks like it's coming out in September, so almost here, and it's all about dependent types. Now, one of the the things I've been waiting for in typed languages is a basically a structure and interpretation of computer programs about static typing. So SICP, that's an abbreviation for Structure and Interpretation of Computer Programs. SICP is a, uh, is a classic book teaching how, uh, basically how Lisp works. How to implement a Lisp using an interpreter, a compiler. It's basically computer science through the eyes of Lisp. And what's cool is it uses Scheme, which one of the authors uh, co-developed and scheme is a really small concise language so it's perfect for this kind of thing it's there's not a lot of fluff to get in the way it's easy to implement and scheme was because it was so simple it was used as a as a language for exploring language features so in the in the um, in SICP, in the book, you start exploring, well, what if we add call by name instead of call by value? You know, things like that. Just messing with how things got evaluated and you get to explore how things work. And because everything was so small and concise, you, you really got this sense of, of understanding the fundamentals without a lot of f- fluff around it. And... I feel like the the typed world doesn't have anything like that. Haskell is a big language compared to Scheme. It has a lot of extensions. It has a lot of libraries. Um, it has a lot of concepts in it. The, the syntax is kind of big, you know, compared to Scheme, right? So if you compare any language to Scheme, it's got a lot of syntax. Um, but... I've never seen a book that's sort of saying, well, what is the minimum type system we could have to start seeing benefits? What is the, the, what is the essence of it? You know, sure. It's great to have lots of features. Once you understand that essence, but where, what is the essence? What is that thing that makes it important? And, I know from Dan Friedman's other work, from The Little Schemer, from The Little Prover, the two that I've read, that it really is trying to get at the essence. It's trying to find that core of you know, what it means to be scheme, which is basically doing a lot of 
like consing and traversing cons cells and uh, recursively, right? And then what does it mean to do proofs, theorem proving about your code? Uh, and there's a very small language in that comes with it that uh, you, you can start to reason about code with. And so I'm, I'm optimistic that this book is actually going to to have some some kind of core, you know, some kind of like, this is what dependent types are, and this is why they're cool. Before you have to go and learn Idris, which I think is a very powerful language, but it's also kind of a maximal language uh, in the way that Haskell is. It's like, what can we do with types once we have them, right? And I wanna see, no, I wanna, I wanna see like what, what's the minimum, what, what is that? And, I, I, I'm just really looking forward to this book. Um, it's got a nice pedigree. I've been looking at the uh, author, the, the co-author, David Thrain Christensen. Um, very interesting. And then it's got an afterword by Connor McBride, who is a um, type theorist. Um, and it's... It's just, uh, I, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to it. I'm going to get it as soon as it comes out. Um, I hope I don't go into a little cocoon while I'm reading it. It's that kind of book because I still have other work to do. Um, but uh, this could be it. This could be the book that makes, it, um, that makes types and what you can do with them make sense to a lot of people. Um, you know, in SIGP, in the first chapter, you start with a function, a mathematical function, like some, some um, curve, and you derive the function that takes the derivative of that function, of any, of any function, really, using the, the um, what is that called? The limit theorem? of calculus, something like that. The definition of calculus of, uh, of the of derivative that's using the limit. You take the limit to, to, of epsilon to zero. And, you know, so anyway, you pick a choose, you choose a small epsilon and you develop a function. Um, that's like first class functions on, in the first chapter, right? But in a, in a very clear way, cause you know, if you, are into this stuff, you already know the calculus enough to follow along. Um, I want to see something like that, except I think he's going to approach it from very piecemeal as he, as he usually does just one small step at a time, building up this dependent type system and what you can do with it. I mean, I think that's going to be, I mean, it's going to be great. Um, I actually have met Dan Friedman at a couple of conferences. Um, I spent, a good two hours with him at one strange loop. And I asked him about what he thought about types because I was kind of thinking about types all the time myself. I had recently left my Haskell job and I was enjoying closure and just wondering like, am I weird for like not liking types that much? And I asked him and he said, you know, with a type system like Haskell and, and don't, don't, don't quote me as, as saying this, but I, I, I asked a bunch of people and, and he was one of them. He said with a type system like Haskell, all of the, the claims that people make about the kinds of mistakes that you avoid, he said that he doesn't make those mistakes. Okay. Meaning choosing the wrong type, right? Like type errors. He doesn't make the kind of mistake where I thought it was a list, but it really was a string, right? Or I thought it was um, a number, but it turned out to be a symbol, right? He doesn't make those mistakes. Um, and and I, I found that that was, um, that for, for me, that was true. And especially with the kinds of code that you can see him write in his work, he uses a very small subset of scheme. It's already a small language and he uses a small subset. He's not doing, you know, higher order stuff like, um, like you get in Haskell where you kind of need a type system because you, you know, you're kind of 
doing something very abstract, like using um, uh, type classes and stuff like that. Anyway, he says he doesn't make that kind of mistake, but he said, but tomorrow there's a talk on dependent types, and I had never heard of dependent types at that time. So there's a talk about dependent types, and he says their claims are mistakes that I make, right? They're, that they can, they can eliminate off by one errors, right? They can eliminate, you have a null terminated list, nil terminated list. You can tell whether you've got another element in the types. He said that that was the kind of mistake that he does find himself making. And so he was very interested in dependent types. So now, you know, a few years later, here he is with the little typer. And so I'm very excited to see um, what, what he's come up with and how to teach this, how to find the core of it. And uh, so, yes, if you're excited, let me know. Uh, if you think that this is, you know, doesn't make any sense, uh, also let me know, are you going to buy the book, The Little Typer? Have you read any of the other little books? Get in touch with me. I'm at Eric Normand on Twitter, and you can also email me, eric at lispcast.com. All right, I'll see you later.